What's going on, everybody? Uh, another video. Today we're going to be talking about how the narcissist finesses through leading your perception. Okay? We're going to talk about this and get into this real quick. Um, narcissists oftentimes volunteer specific information to steer or guide your perceptions into a specific direction okay i refer to this as leading your perception right they want to lead your perception towards what they feel will alter the way you see things and how you see them and how this works uh the narcissist relies heavily upon misdirection okay basically having you believe in one thing while doing the other. This is their, you know, their masters of hy hy hypocrisy, at least to the fullest. When a a narcissist typically, you know, spills out certain, you know, values, beliefs, and things that they supposedly stand for. You know, typically these things are just a reflection of what you are. OK, of or, or the information that they've managed to gather from observing you and collecting information about you and how you are. They put, you know, a, like a package together of um, they start building a character. OK, they build a specific character to what you may be comfortable with or what you may like. And basically, uh, you know. Um, the desires and, 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 you know, the things that you might expect out of that type of individual. This is why they're hammering you with so many questions left and right when they first meet you. And that narcissist builds that character per your expert expectations. Now, this is something important to take into consideration because as they reflect back to you what you want to see, um, you, on the other hand, start to form a belief in uh, in that character, at least. You, you start forming a belief in the character and you begin to personalize that as something that is real. You develop trust and then faith in this fictitious being performing before you okay so based on everything that you may have spoken or, or the information you may have divulged to the, to the narcissist they take all that and they slowly start to turn themselves into that they don't just do it over you know instantly because you would immediately pick up on it but they slowly start doing this and herein is where herein lies where um the, the, the danger of all of this is because this is where the cognitive dissonance really takes a stronghold on the individual later once they have been disillusioned. Okay. Now, when you've, uh, well, well, we'll look at it from this point. Okay. When you've been fully bonded and deeply uh, you know, and put in a deep state of emotional uh, connection to this false character that the narcissist has gotten you to accept is real, you are more likely to believe the things that they tell you as well. Okay, because now you're, you're deep in right at this point. Uh, and most of you start to form feelings of love and you, you feel like, you know, um, you start looking into the future. You're looking ahead while the narcissist hasn't left anywhere. They're still at square one. You've ran all the way ahead and, and making these plans and, uh, you know, looking at what you can do together and all this. And the narcissist has not moved one inch. OK, so you essentially end up doing all of the work. And at that point, the narcissist systematically begins to start telling you things that will even further solidify 
the image of the false character. So, for example, um, you know, and in most times, most cases, narcissists like to play the helpless victim or the person who has been victimized, which um, they, they do this to, to typically uh, justify their actions when they do start to act up or when the mask does start to slip off of them. OK, and that will happen. Right. So let's say they told you that there um, no one was there for them. Uh, no one ever supported them. Some a lot I've hear I've heard a lot that they they say that they were molested and all these things and they were abused and so forth. Now part of these things may be true, but typically now we have to understand these individuals are master manipulators, so they know the effects and they know how to gain sympathy to make the person surrender emotionally to them. Okay, they, they've been doing this over and over and over again. This isn't just a mistake. And I've, I've said this before, this isn't just uh, haphazardly doing this and, oh, I accidentally manipulated this person into doing all this stuff for me. No, man, come on, this is deliberate intent. This is deliberate intent. They know what they're doing, Right? And and the thing about it is most people, when they find out later that a lot of this stuff that they said about them being victims and stuff just was not true. It just wasn't. Some cases may be, but a lot of it wasn't. And if the narcissist can play on your emotions and keep your mental state in tune with the with 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 the emotion of sympathy for them. And feeling sorry for the narcissist, you will automatically excuse and make special uh, expectations for them. And thereby lowering the accountability and responsibility of that narcissist. Essentially, the narcissist will have gotten you to manage down all of your expectations of them so that they will... Uh, uh, you know, so that you at least will accept lower quality treatment and performance from that individual. And once you get yourself stuck in that pattern, it's hard to get out of it. It's hard to break out of that. And that's where a lot of people, you know, claim the, 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 the trauma bonds and stuff come in. Well, this is just from, you know, being deeply ingrained and embedded into something that has been uh, systematically imputed in, into you. Why is this so important to the narcissist, though? You know, we have to think about that. And this is because it, sustain, it sustains their position of being taken care of or keeping a certain type of supply for longer periods of time. Okay? You see, um, people form a, a deep, connective uh, you know emotional bond with them but the narcissist is absent in regards to having any emotions to you they're not they're not there you believe that you're in love they know that they have a fool you believe that you're doing uh whatever you're doing for them is helping them or making them better they know that you're in a deep state of their influence. You feel sorry for them. They praise themselves for being able to easily finesse you. The state of minds are completely different. While there may be something that, uh, y y you know, you might take this serious, the narcissist, is, the narcissist basically is just having fun. This is a finesse, and that's all it is to it. And this was what makes them, uh, they rather have this type of feeling that they get out of doing this to individual after individual after individual to make themselves feel alive, to make themselves feel unique and different, to, to, to soothe that, that aching pain of being um, unworthy and worthless. Well, this makes them feel like there's something and somebody. They they rather 
go through these stages of changing out people left and right and never really having anything seriously developed because they've they've already accepted this way of life and how their life is going to play out. They trust me, they've already accepted that. So they're perfectly fine with continuously operating in that way. It doesn't make them any difference. Okay? You may feel a certain way of of wanting something out of them or trying to get them to change, but for them, they can care less. This is something that they praise themselves on as being good at. And this is a finesse. Anyway, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell too so that any videos that I have come out you can always get a hold of. Also, the links are back and working. To A lot of people were asking about the links to get the, the, uh, the products. I have the Departure of Empathy 2. We finished that. Uh, it's been out for past month if you haven't seen it uh, we have the the trailer that you can watch very good as well um you definitely want to get that and please show your support and make sure you go check that out um for people who's who's new coming into finding out about this information i always recommend the anti-narcissist awareness training training academy audiobook course that i have uh, you can get all of those are in the link in the in the description box. Just drop down, uh, click the description box. All the links are there to where you can get them. They're all uh, digital, so there's nothing to be shipped. A lot of people ask, are these physical products? No, they're not physical products. They're all downloadable. So there's nothing to be shipped physically. Anyway, I thank all of you for your support. Till next time, everybody have a good one. Bye now.